Okay, folks, uh, this uh, calculus lesson is on the beginning of tangent lines and the beginning of your derivatives. Let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so to determine the direction of a curve at a specific point x, y, you can find the slope of the tangent line at that point. And how you do that is uh, since slope formula requires two ordered pairs, we'll use a secant line in the limit process to approximate this slope. So I'll show you a picture of this in just a second. So the closer the two points are, the better the approximation is. So uh, here's a picture right here. Uh, okay, so say I wanted to find a tangent line anywhere right there. Say I wanted to find, let's pretend like I had a tangent line going right up through here. Okay, and I want to know the slope of that tangent line at, say, a specific point right there. So what I'm going to do is pick two points right here, P and Q, and then this would be a secant line right here. We will go right through there and I'd find the slope of that secant line right there. Okay, and since uh, this point P has the coordinates uh, x, y, this went over x, uh, this uh, delta x, which is um, triangle, the triangle x means um, change in x, and this is my change in y right here. I went over x and up y, so this is going to be x plus delta x, and this is going to be y plus delta y. Or, uh, remember, this is x comma f of x, so x plus delta x, and then f of x plus delta x. All right, it, you got, it's got to ring some sort of a bell with you guys and probably a lot with a lot of you guys. So the slope of the secant line, remember slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, so which is just change in y over change in x. So the slope of the secant line, which is uh, m with the secant right there, is uh, we do this y right here um, minus uh, this y over here, which would be this guy, which would be f of x right here, over uh, just delta x right here. So uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over, over the change in x. We'll just leave it as change in x instead of uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, and then when delta x gets really, really small, or as, uh, as this x approaches 0, see, see if I make this uh, x right here, delta x approach 0, the distance between the points gets closer and closer and closer. The, the more I let this q comes down right here, then this x right here gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And we're going to use that limit process to find uh, the tangent line. So the slope of the secant is a very accurate approximation of the slope of your tangent line. All right, so definition of a tangent slope is just this, you guys. Uh, your slope of your tangent is your limit when your delta x gets close to zero of f of x minus, or f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. And we're going to use this to find slopes of certain points. So this is the beginning of derivatives, you guys. And calculus is all about derivatives. So derivatives uh, it means rate of change, also means slope. So if you see slope, that means take the derivative. If you see rate of change, that means take the derivative. If you see the word velocity, that means derivative. Okay, so procedures to find your slope of your tangent. You substitute your equation is, whichever your function is, into the definition. This definition right here, this guy. We substitute in my equation in right there into that guy. Okay, and... Uh, then uh, you do some algebra, whatever algebra manipulation, until you can cancel out your delta x in the denominator because you want to cancel that out. So then you can let your delta x get close to zero. So right at this point right here, in this definition right here, I, delta x can't be zero because it's in the denominator. So we substitute our equation in and do some algebra manipulation and get the delta x to cancel out. And then you can substitute in zero and then, then that'll be your slope of your tangent line. So whatever x coordinate of your ordered pair is of the point they want you to focus on, we then substitute that into whatever we got for this, and that'll be the slope at that point. All right, an example would make a, a big difference. Here's an example. Find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals x squared plus 1 at the point uh, negative 1 comma 2. Okay, so I'm going to substitute in f of x right here. So f of x equals x squared plus 1, so it's going to be this guy squared plus 1 minus the f of x, which is x squared plus 1. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to substitute that in. Okay, so here's my uh, delta x, of, uh, here's my x plus delta x squared plus 1, so I just substitute it in, then minus my just plain old f of x, which is that right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and foil this out, x plus delta x times x plus delta x, and I get... Uh, uh, that quantity right there, and I went ahead and distributed this negative through right there. You guys with me? 
I just foiled out x plus delta x times x plus delta x. That's all I did. All right, now, can you see this x squared and this x squared cancel out? And this 1 and this 1 cancel out? So it simplifies to this right here. Okay, now notice I can pull out a delta x out of this guy and this guy right here. And when I pull a delta x out of that, I'm left with that. And then notice now the delta x's can cancel. So now the delta x's can cancel. And once the delta x's can cancel, I can now let my other delta x in the numerator get close to zero. So when this gets close to zero, that goes away, and I'm just left with 2x. So this simplifies to 2x. So that's the slope of the tangent. Now i got to go ahead and substitute this known point in, this x right here. So I'm going to substitute in this x. I don't need the y at all. And when I substitute in negative 1 into 2 times x, which is 2 times negative 1, I get my slope to be negative 2. Okay, all of them work like that. They're kind of awkward at first, but once you get the hang of them, um, uh, they get easier, you guys. Okay, so you've got to substitute in here and then crank it out, and then it, so sooner or later your delta x's are going to cancel, and then you're going to substitute in this x point right there at the point that they give you. All right, now if you're in my class, I'd give that as your homework right there. Okay.